Good morning, everybody. Dan again from the Headwaters Kayak Shop. And today I'm taking you guys on a little bit of a road trip. We just started off in Bend, Oregon. Uh, we slept out at Ethan's house. Our first stop is gonna be at the local Walmart here in Bend, just to see what Walmart's up to, just to see their state of affairs. They have inventory, are they totally sold out? Are they picked over? And we also thought it would be fun to go into Walmart and give you guys a few hacks. Things that we think are important or will make your time better on the water. So we're gonna go do a little shopping in Walmart for kayaking gear. Cheap, easy, simple stuff. Right, let's go see what the local Walmart here in Bend, Oregon has to offer. So just a little timeline, you guys. We are into June. We're going to be going in, what is this weekend, like June 29th or something like that. So going into 4th of July weekend here pretty close. I'm expecting one or two things. Either they be completely picked over or maybe they just got a huge batch in and they're getting, you know, beefed up for summertime. What? Even the ball pit's picked over, man. Where's the kayaks, dude? Gone. Nothing. Zero. Literally not a kayak in this place? Nope. We got the paddles. Here's the kayak section. This is normally like just stacked with kayaks, you guys. This is it. They got some paddles. Huh. What, what's the price on that thing? $34. 34 bucks. Adjustable shaft. Yeah, it's got little grippies. And they got this fiberglass one here. Such a classic dad moment. I just knocked down all the paddles. They don't fit in the rack and they just all fell on me. But two associates came over to see if I was okay. What an idiot. What if you're buying a life jacket from one of these places, don't buy this one. Don't buy one that's neoprene. Don't buy one that's like comes in underneath your arm. Get one like this that has the adjustable length. It gives you a lot more room, a lot more freedom of movement. This is a kayak one, 34 bucks. I don't see a price on this one. Doesn't matter, don't buy it. All right, hack number two. I always carry an umbrella with me, like with my kids in a canoe or a kayak. Like your kids can make a little fort in the canoe, keeps them out of the sun, back at the beach. Um, obviously I usually carry a smaller one, but like an umbrella is a good thing to have. Also, if you have wind, you can have the kids sitting out front catching wind and it'll keep them entertained as well. There you go, dad, hack number two. Let's see what else we got. All right, so hack number three is most people when they buy their kayak, they go and they grab a pair of these. And this is where we see things like this. These, you guys, one, you can over tighten. Two, that's actually really tough to get it wrapped around the kayak and secured. So we're gonna kick it old school, and I'm gonna recommend you guys go with something more like this and tie a trucker's loop. After you're done watching this video, do me a favor, go look at how to try a trucker's knot. You can secure your kayak a lot more secure with rope than you ever can with ratchet straps. The other thing that I think is a really good hack, this guy right here. These are little ratcheting tie downs, so you can hook the front, tie off to your bumper and it just ratchets. Easy way to cinch your kayak down, keep the bow from flopping around. Definitely adds a lot of security. And they're like seven bucks at Walmart. So for 13 bucks, you have a way more secure system than buying the ratchet straps for 20. Okay, hack number four is a boating sponge. It's in the auto department for $2, but having this in the bottom of your kayak to soak up that water that's inevitably gonna drip off your paddle is a really, really nice thing. You don't think about it until you're out there. But now this is just under your seat, you get water in squeegee it out put it back under your seat fun that's hack number four all right hack number five um i always try to pick up a spray bottle of simple green it's biodegradable it's uh non-toxic it's good to clean the bugs off your boat uh, clean out any grime uh, they make it in a spray bottle or you can dilute it down if you're out paddling tip number six is definitely have a whistle this just attaches to your life jacket if you're in distress blow this thing let people around you know that hey i'm in the water this ain't good just a little safety thing two bucks definitely get one hack number seven is get yourself a tub this is a hamper this would work too with the idea being a place to store your gear you're gonna have a wet life jacket wet pants whatever and at the end of the day what you can do you can suck this on the ground step into it you know take your clothes off don't have to get dirt all over your stuff have your shoes ready and then all your gear all your wet gear just stays in this tub and at the end of the day you just bring this into your house without having to like slap all that wet gear they have these little 494 foam pads. These are awesome inside your kayaks for your heels. That way in the hot summer days when you're not wearing footwear on flat water, get one of these. They're also great if you want to put in the bottom of a seat of a kayak to elevate your child so they can get a better stroke. 494, totally great investment. This is some reflective tape, you guys. This you can put at the end of your paddles and it creates a high visibility strip on your paddle. So if you need to signal to boats or if you find yourself out there after dark, this is a great safety item that costs virtually nothing, $2 or $1.50, and 
and adds a whole lot of safety. Um, I always have a headlamp with me. It's just great if you get off after dusk for car topping, making sure you don't leave anything at the boat ramp. Believe it or not, my kids all also have these little cap lights. They're $1. Walmart also has a $1 uh, headband one that I believe is right underneath there. And you know, you throw that in your dry bag, you always have something. Um, the batteries are small and basically disposable. I give these to my kids as well because if they leave the light on in the camper, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's a great little economic headlamp. Not something I want to go deep into the backcountry, but it's nice to have with. That was super fun to walk around Walmart and think about all the things that you wouldn't necessarily think about right away that make your time better on the water. Uh, simple little hacks. You know, I think every product we talked about would equate to, you know, 50 bucks. So hopefully you guys found that useful. If nothing else, we hope you found it entertaining. Until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one. So here we are a week later after this video was shot and they're all restocked.